The origin is the basis for all operations performed during the PCB design. For each object, be it a component, via mounting hole or a track, there are specific coordinate values calculated from the zero point. We always use several origins when working in Altium Designer. This is a relative zero origin, used to calculate the coordinates for all objects, and an absolute zero origin, used to ensure the correct placement of components protruding from the edge of a PCB. The distance between absolute and relative zero is exactly equal to a thousand mils. However, if you work with the MCAD co-designer extension, a third origin, used in the CAD system of a mechanical engineer, comes into play. In this case, the MCAD origin may differ from the origin in ECAD. Each time you push or pull data, the MCAD co-designer extension automatically recalculates all changes in the board's geometry and layout, so all changes will be correctly transferred despite the difference in coordinate points. But there are a number of factors that need to be taken into account when an electrical engineer and a mechanical engineer work together. Pay attention to the central component on the PCB. In this video, it is placed as a marker to demonstrate changes more clearly. Having pulled a board in mechanical CAD, we will place an outline of the PCB inside a positive quadrant of the coordinate system. The origin point in mechanical CAD corresponds to the absolute zero origin point in Altium Designer. Now let's push our PCB to Altium Designer and pull the changes. Please note that our component marker has remained in the centre of the work area because the PCB outline was placed in positive XY coordinates. Now let's undo the changes and imagine a reverse case when a mechanical engineer places the board shape outline in negative coordinates. Let's switch to mechanical CAD and partially place the outline sketch of the board in negative coordinates. Such a situation often occurs when a mechanical engineer creates the outline of the board in the centre of the plane, resulting in a point of origin placed in the centre of the sketch. Now we push the PCB to ECAD. Altium Designer cannot physically place the board in negative coordinates and shifts it to the left and below absolute zero. Therefore, the MCAD co-designer extension has to shift the entire board backwards, leaving a gap to the absolute origin for the possible edge connectors in the design. Pay attention to the position of the component before pulling changes. Now we apply the changes and see that the position of the component has shifted from its original position. The PCB has shifted to the left and below relative zero, but the relative origin has remained in place. It happened because the points of coordinates of the MCAD and ECAD are not synchronised with each other. The position of the component has been changed to match the new origin, and it is correct. MCAD co-designer has recalculated its position for the new coordinates. In this situation, the position of components and mounting holes are recalculated to prevent the board elements from being placed beyond absolute zero. Even if the PCB has been moved closer to absolute zero, you will always have a guaranteed 400 mil gap for edge connectors. Therefore, please note that it is highly recommended to perform all manipulations with changing the board contour position relative to the MCAD origin in the very early stages of the design cycle in order not to jeopardize the work already done. If, after the synchronization, your PCB is shifted and you're not satisfied with a relative origin position, you can change it. To do this, use the function edit origin set and then specify the desired location of a zero point. The position of objects on the PCB will not change in any way and their coordinates will be recalculated automatically. This operation will not affect the MCAD origin in any way and all further changes will be synchronized correctly.